Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Schultz. I'm CEO of Page Once. This is my colleague, Brad Simmons, who leads business development. Uh, traditionally, personal finance has really been about three things. Number one, it's about setting goals. Number two, it's about using calculators. And number three, it's about setting up a budget. We all have the best intentions for these things, and, and, and we want to go and create and maintain a detailed budget. But the reality is that it's, it's too complex. It takes way too much time to maintain. And the result is that very few people do it and are committed to following through. At Page Once, we're taking uh, a new approach. It's very simple. Here's my cash. Here are my bills. It's all about your day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month finances and keeping you informed. At the last Finnovate, uh, four and a half months ago, Page Once announced uh, 2 million registered users. We recently surpassed 3 million registered users in four and a half months. We're very focused on delivering our applications to consumers on mobile devices. Uh, in the finance category, we're a top 10 iPhone app. We're number one on BlackBerry. We're number one on Android. And we're the number one iPad finance app. Today, I'm pleased to announce support for Windows Phone 7. Page Once is a premier partner for Windows Phone 7. And the application that we have in front of you today is live Windows Phone 7 software. <clears throat> what I'd like to start with is, is Page Once is really a starting point right, for your personal finances. And what we focused on in this application was making it very, very simple. A lot of people are intimidated. They don't like numbers. It's not fun. So it's very, very simple. Here's my cash, my credit cards, my bills, and my investments. OK, so one screen to give you an immediate read on your financial health or pulse. So behind the scenes, though, we've developed a proprietary and robust platform that goes out, collects this information, synthesizes it, and delivers it to a mobile device. Let's start with cash. So here you can see I get a quick and simple snapshot into my cash balances. Where I'm, holding this, where, I'm, where I'm holding my cash in the various accounts. And I can quickly and easily get uh, some, a, a sense of my spending behavior and my transactions. Credit cards are similar. Right, I can go and look at my credit cards. I can get a quick and simple snapshot of my balances, uh, my credit limits, my, uh, my APRs. And again, I can go and get my daily transactions and get a sense for my spending behavior and verify my transactions. Bills is something we uniquely integrated into the Windows Phone 7 app. Uh, this gives you a complete snapshot of your bills. So it's who do I have to pay, how much do I owe, and when do I have to pay it? It's pretty simple. right? So on the bills application, if it would load, um, I, I, can, I can set up all my different accounts. I can go in and see uh, a snapshot categorically of, the categor of, the, of where I'm spending. I can get a history of that spending. I can go into any particular bill and actually get the details around that bill. So if I'm overspending on my Verizon account, I can go in and get a sense for the history of what I spend. Am I going over on my minutes? And, and, and uh, take some action to either change my behavior or uh, upgrade my plan. So, so, so finally, um, the, the, the one really important and popular feature, and we'll see if we can pull it up for you here, is uh, Page Wants Alerts. So uh, we send out millions of alerts to our users on uh, a daily and mo on monthly basis. Those alerts are anything from, hey, I have a bill due. I'm reaching my credit limit. I was hit with a fee. And maybe something positive, like I got paid today. So the alerts uh, at Page Wants, uh, it's are context sensitive, meaning something happened in your account that's important for you to know about. So these alerts are very popular with our users. They keep you informed. They keep you up to date on your, on your daily finances. So we studied some of our alerts and how they impact our users. The alerts that we send to users who get uh, balances in their checking accounts below $500 are pretty common. So we send out these alerts. The average, uh, the median overdraft protection fee is $27, according to the FDIC. So what we found is that when we send these alerts out to users, 85% of them avoid these fees. 
on a monthly basis, that's a, 10, that's a potential savings of about $10 million, $120 million on an annual basis. We think we're just scratching the surface with some of the value that we can deliver through these alerts. So let me switch gears a little bit and uh, talk about, uh, uh, we're going to keep the theme of alerts, but uh, um, I, I want to tell a personal story. So I recently joined Page Once, and one of the first things I did was uh, I called my mother, of course. Right? Uh, the litmus test for any consumer application, is it easy enough for my mother to use? So she's an iPhone user. She downloaded the app. She added a few accounts, her credit cards and, and uh, her bills. And two weeks later, she forwarded me an email with the message, Steve, sh should I do this? And so the alert that she got was she was carrying a balance on her credit card. She was hit with a finance fee. Uh, we, we, we sent her something very contextually relevant. It was a fee that hit her account. It was very personalized. It was, here's the account. Here is the APR. Here's the exact fee. And here's a money-saving offer that we can deliver to help her save some coin. In this case, it was a Citibank offer for tra transferring a balance, giving her an 18-month runway to pay down her account. So this is a really simple example that we can identify and we can deliver to our users in context and personalized. And in closing, if there are anyone who's a retailer, a financial service company, a telecommunications company, who thinks that they have offers that they can save people money and want to target an audience in, in a similar fashion, please contact me or my colleague Brad in the exhibit hall after the show. Thank you very much.